Yo, what's the word? It's your boy Zente, and I'm back like I never left. The title of today's video is Mike Epps, White Parents vs. Black Parents. If you're new to the channel and it's your first time here and you want to be part of the Clock Gang, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and leave a like on the video. But let's get right into this. In a motherfucking minute. Timmy, you're grounded and you're dead, mom, bitch. <laughs> you're fucking out of here, you're man. You're fucking out of here. <laughs> That's how they always do the leg in their foot. You're fucking dead, mom. <laughs> you're dead, fucking dad dead is dead. dead man. <laughs> you're dead. You're fucking dead, man. <laughs> Timmy, what's the problem? You're the, the fucking, fucking problem. problem. <laughs> You're the problem. Dad's the fucking problem. <laughs> I told you I want my fucking skateboard out the shop, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, son. If y'all don't know about Mike Epps, I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Because this man is funny as hell. Now, is he in the top five? No. You know, you have to work your way up there. And you have to have legendary stuff. Now, he has very, very good stuff. Legendary? I don't know if I'm going to go that far. But if y'all don't know about Mike Epps, I don't know what y'all doing. Because he's definitely funny as hell. He's one of the rawest comedians ever. He's funny as hell, bro. I swear to God. Look at the white people. I don't act like that. <laughs> My son doesn't do that. <laughs> You come home from school, little Timmy in the garage making a bomb. What are you doing, Timmy? Nothing, Mom. <laughs> Get out, out of here, here now. now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're fucking out of here. <laughs> That's why you're fucking out of here, man. Get out of here now. <laughs> Yo, and I know y'all looking at me like, first of all, all right, I already explained this a million times, but for the motherfuckers that don't understand, clip this video and send this shit to them. Yes, you probably think I'm white, but I'm not. I'm mixed. I'm black and white. So you probably think I get raised the way you do. No, I do not. My mom beats the shit out of me. Well, not anymore, obviously. I'm a grown man. But when I was a kid... If I did some shit wrong, I ain't getting time out. <laughs> she picking up that slipper, you getting smacked. That's really how it worked. So, you know, that's why it's called white parents versus black parents. You, you don't get raised the same. <laughs> white people get raised way different than anybody else. Everybody else, you say something crazy to your parents, you getting smacked, you getting punched, you getting hit with a belt, you getting hit with a... You can't hit with anything they can find, so it's not the same. So you can sit here and judge me all you want. Oh, your skin color is white. Why do you say nigga and all of that? Well, first of all, I've been saying nigga my whole life. I'm black and white. It is what it is. If you don't like it, I really don't give a shit. I don't care. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm not the same as you. You get what I'm saying? You can't do what I do. So stop trying to stop trying to question me about what I could do. I say nigga, all my friends don't have no problem with it. So neither should you. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. But the point I'm trying to make is I was raised as if <laughs> I was raised as a black child. You get what I'm saying? My skin color might not be black, but I was raised as a black child. If I did something wrong, I got my ass beat. Or a colored child, if you want me to say that. Because colored people get their ass beat. They don't go in time out. They get their ass whooped. Leave a like if you, if you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you ain't never heard of a little black kid killing their mama, hey? Exactly. Because <laughs> it will be a shootout in that mother... <laughs> facts. <laughs> Yo, facts. You know black mothers got instincts like they in Vietnam. <laughs> what you doing in that room so motherfucking long? <laughs> You need to say something when you're in there. Yo. This is my room. <laughs> you know them black mothers love jumping on their daughters. <laughs> the mamas and daughters always got that little rival thing at the wild. You know when the daughters start getting spunky with her mama, you tell her to do something, I'm going to do it, shit. 
What'd you say? I'm trying to knock your head in between that washer and dryer. Don't play talk that motherfucking shit to me. Yo. Your black mother loved to do that first jump on. Let's get an understanding around here, half a... <laughs> Yo. And then they call and tell everybody I had to knock Shanika's motherfucker. I tried to kick that bitch off behind the damn washing and dry. I swear to God, I used to fucking hate that shit with a passion, bro. All right, if you know anything about getting your ass beat, and you got parents that love to talk shit, bro, about doing that shit to you. Leave a like on the video right now. But, yo, I swear to God, I used to hate that shit, bro. I used to hate when my mama hit me or I get fresh with her. You know, when you're a teenager, you're going through different emotions. You're going through puberty. You're dealing with females. You're dealing with your friends. You're dealing with shit at school. You go through things. So, you know, you're going to have an attitude sometimes. It's not okay, but it's the truth. So I used to hate when I, you know, I used to do something wrong and my mom used to call everybody in the world like, I had to take his PlayStation away. I had to smack him with a slipper like, yo, that's my business. That's my and your business. Stop telling other people that, yo, that shit used to get me so tight, bro. I swear to God, I used to hate that shit with a passion. And then they call and tell everybody I had to knock Shanika's motherfucker. I tried to kick that bitch <laughs> off behind the damn washing dryer. Yeah, I used to hate that shit, son. I swear to God. <laughs> I guess because she got titties, she thinks she's running something around here. <laughs> I had to let her know, buy your own tampons. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Until you can buy your own tampons, don't say a motherfucker thing to me. <laughs> bitch, you want to borrow a tampon and talk crazy back to a bitch. Yo. Then the next two days, I love you, baby. I hate that shit, too. Want to go have lunch? No, motherfucker. Look, you didn't beat me all upside the fucking head and told everybody at the church. Yo, I swear to God, sir. Yo. Black mamas will hit your ass anywhere. Church. Parking lot, Facts. court, any motherfucking where. <laughs> you ever get hit and you be looking to see who's seen it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> be a white man just looking at you like this. <laughs> you better be careful, little buddy. You better shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's pretty feisty, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna knock his motherfucking teeth out of his mouth. <laughs> Yo, son, bro. Mike Epps is dumb fucking funny. And I've seen that shit mad times. Yo, but that's really the truth, though, bro. They really beat the shit out you and then want to tell everybody. And then a day later be like, I love you. You want to go out to eat? You just beat the shit out of me. I don't even want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. Yo, like, I swear, son. Parents are funny as hell. But that shit really got me weak. I got tears. Yo, that was Mike Epps, White Parents versus Black Parents. If you have any other Mike Epps videos, please just comment down below, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. If you have any other comedy videos, do the same. If you have sports videos, music videos, it doesn't matter. Send it to me. I'll try to do it. If your video doesn't come out, it either got blocked, I didn't think it was a good video, or it got copyrighted. That's the only reason the video didn't come out. But yo, I enjoyed that video. If you're new to the channel and it's your first time here, you want to be part of the Clock Gang, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on post notifications. But with that, man, it's your boy Zente. It's been a realist hour. And until next time, GG's. Fits on that lunchroom table sound like a beatbox. Know a couple niggas that used to carry that heat rock. But I ain't take that path cause that's not my lifestyle. No, used to carry some protection on me, that's a lifestyle. My name is Mike Zent and I feel like the chosen one. Me and you, King James, nigga, you not the only one. Trying to get to that top spot like LeBron James. In your daughter crib, butt naked like I'm Ving Rhames. Working hard every day to get that Bill Gates money. I be hearing little shit like, damn, now he moving funny.